So in this video, we are going to begin talking a little more about how to connect tables that have related data together. And that is through using the select statements join operations. Join operations. And SQL joins combine data from multiple tables. This is very similar to the concept that we used in Microsoft Excel, where you were looking up values from a second worksheet and then using those values in, in a particular, in your own particular worksheet. But here we're combining data from multiple tables based on a matching field, and that matching field is through the foreign key uh, itself that we've defined in a lot of the tables that we've been using so far. So join operations are resource intensive. That means that it takes a lot of uh, processing power, especially in very large tables, to, to affect a join or to make it happen. So we have to really look at these um, intently so that we know how each of them works. So there are several types of joins. One, the first one is the cross join, and the cross join is the same as a Cartesian product. If you remember that from any kind of math class you may have had in the past. So it's every combination of rows from both tables that you're joining together. And that's not really that useful. So what we want to do in most cases is apply a condition to that. And applying the condition, you can do it in two ways, inner or outer. An inner join is a way of providing a condition where only qualifying rows from both tables uh, are returned. The outer join, uh, which is kind of grayed out here because we'll talk about it in a later video, it returns the qualifying rows from one table and then all the rows from the other table um, and pads the non-matching results with nulls. And we'll see examples of that later on. But let's first pause to respect the math um, as part of this. A Cartesian product is the combination of two particular sets and it, it results in, uh, in this case, ordered pairs. So if you do the Cartesian product, A cross join B or A Cartesian product B, you get every combination of all of the records. So you see that A goes with one, two, three, and four. B goes with one, two, three, and four. C goes with one, two, three, and four. And D goes with one, two, three, and four. So if you notice there are four items in A and four items in B, so the result of the Cartesian product is a result set that has four by four or 16 uh, items in the result. And that's important to remember here uh, when we're looking at database joins, specifically the cross join. So the cross join is a Cartesian product in a relational database. So let's take a look. We have two tables here, a customer table and a sale table. And if we do the Cartesian product or the cross join, then we get a result that takes all of the customer information and combines it with each of the sales. So we see that John Smith is combined with customer uh, or sale uh, number one and sale number two. Stephen Goldfish is with one and two. Paula Brown is with one and two. And James Smith is with one and two. So we have four uh, rows in the customer table. We have two rows in the sale table. So that means our Cartesian product is four by two. So we should see eight records in our Cartesian product, our cross join result set, so two, four, six, eight. So the cross join returns n times m rows, where n is the number of rows in the first table, and n, m 
is the number of rows in the second table. You have two possible syntaxes in the uh, uh, SQL syntax. So you can say select employee ID, last name, department ID, department name and salary from employees cross join departments with the cross join keywords. Or this is probably more common you have this situation where you have employee ID last name from employees comma departments. Without a where clause, this, these two are basically equivalent. But what we typically want to do in a situation like this is notice again our combinations here. If this is the customer ID and it's pointing back to the customer table, then we only want where these things are matching, right? So this customer ID, notice is John Smith, matches customer ID one. So it should imply that John Smith had a sale of 99.95. And it should also imply that Stephen Goldfish had a sale of 122. So let's take a look a little bit closer at how we can do that with what we call an inner join. So an inner join is a join that constrains the result set based on a matching column. So the value of that column appears in both tables in the query and it only records uh, the rows that have a match in the result set. So if we're thinking about this in terms of a Venn diagram, it's the things that match both A and B. The syntax would look something like this. So you have an employee ID, a last name, department ID, department name, and salary from employees, interjoined departments on department ID equals the employee's department ID. So this is saying if, if table A were employees and table B were departments, it's saying I only want the matches where the department ID of A is the same as the department ID of B. So the department ID of employees is the same as the department ID of departments. So if we were to draw this out, we have a customer and a sale again, the same table that we had before. If this were a foreign key from sale that points back to the customer, then we only want to match on that foreign key condition. So our result set should look something like this, where we have John Smith of 99.95 and Stephen Goldfish as 122. So another thing that you can do is what is known as a self inner join. And a self inner join is when table A and table B are the same table. Table A and table B are the same table. In this case, in this example, we have a self join where we are getting the manager of each employee and we're listing that manager's name. The manager ID is the same as the employee ID because it's a foreign key that points to the employee's table itself. So in this case, both table A and table B are the employee's table here. So we're selecting the employee's employee ID and last name and salary, and we're selecting the manager represented by M, the manager's employee ID, last name and salary. <clears throat> And we're matching on the employee's manager ID is equal to the manager's employee ID. So this should be the result of that. And we'll take a look at some examples in the next video of how to do both cross joins and uh, inner joins and self inner joins.